GCA Mining, new name, consistent success. At the end of November 2021, management announced a name change from Grand Columbia Gold to GCM Mining. This is to better reflect the growth strategy through diversification, expanding operations and investments to other countries and expanding products to metals other than just gold and silver. This does not detract from the company's success. For the sixth consecutive year, GCM Mining met its annual production guidance. In Q4 2021, the Segovia operations produced nearly 55,300 ounces gold, an increase of more than 10% over the previous year. In addition to gold, they produced nearly 90,000 ounces of silver, almost double the previous year's production and, thanks to the new polymetallic plant, the company produced approximately 154,000 pounds zinc and 254,000 pounds lead for the first time. For the full year 2021, Segovia's gold and silver production is more than 206,000 ounces gold and nearly 254,000 ounces silver, respectively, compared to approximately approximately 96,400 ounces gold and 86,000 ounces silver in 2020. Segovia continues to be one of the highest grade underground gold mines in the world as evidenced by recently reported high grade intercepts from the ongoing 2021 drill program. GCM Mining is expected to release its fourth quarter and 2021 financial results on or about 31st March 2022, along with updated mineral reserve and resource estimates for its Segovia operation. The strong production and exploration results are further sweetened with a monthly dividend that results in an annual yield of about 3.5%. Further growth comes from the ongoing construction of the Toro Paru mine in Guyana, which shall be already in 2024 in production. The PEA showed great numbers with an IRR of 46%, a mine life of 24 years and low AIC of $916 per ounce gold. GCA Mining is on a straightforward path to become a plus 400,000 ounce gold producer. A positive revaluation shall be around the corner. I'm Jochen Steiger, Swiss Research Capital in partnership with Dukas Copy TV. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.